Five, five, three. Take one. Get ready to match the stars. Bobby Van. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. Sarah Kennedy. Richard Dawson. And Betty White. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 75. And now here's the star of Match Game 75, Gene Rivers. My microphone is here somewhere. I will just follow the cord. Well, there it is. <laughs> Why did you do that, Sarah? Oh, oh, gee, what are you <laughs> doing? Now I'm just getting my microphone. <laughs> my hands are above the table at all times, oh, if you notice that. Oh. Didn't lay a glove on her, but I will now. <laughs> you rascal. <laughs> listen. Yes. What? Now listen uh, to this. We got some interesting stuff, so let's get right to it, okay. shall we? Sure. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's say hello to Terry Thompson and Lynn Hayes. <laughs> Terry's the current champion. He's won $5,600. And he's being challenged by Lynn. She had rather good luck with her first round question. And your first round question will come up in a moment or so. And something really special is going to happen when we give him his first round question. Something we have never done before. You come right back and find out what it is. That's an order. Now, something special. What? Last year, Mark Goodson was in here and introduced me to a guy who is a German TV producer. And he says, I've, I've licensed this fella to do match game in uh, Germany. And they're doing it in Stuttgart now. I was in London a couple of weeks ago, and I ran into a lady at Heathrow Airport. She says, Mr. Rayburn, I just saw you in Stuttgart, and I watch you in Los Angeles all the time. <laughs> so, but, uh, and they're doing it, and we'd like to do it a little bit the way they do it. Now, in German, there is no word for blank. So what they do over there... Instead of saying blank, since I have no word like that, they say schnickschnack. <laughs> so what we're going to do... Excuse me, do, are these the same people that invaded Czechoslovakia? <laughs> <laughs> schnickschnack? I can't believe that. There is, there is, a, there, is there a literal translation for that? I guess there isn't. It means something or anything, you know. So that's exactly. what we're going to do now. Are you ready for play a little schnick snack here? Sure. Okay. I'll push the button already, and we're going to play right away here. Do they all talk with this German accent? No, 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 no. Oh, I use no, German. Instead of saying blank, I do. Say, I'm German. You, you have German. <laughs> well, yes. we're going to deport you right after the show. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Only the top half. When the warden offered to send... When the warden offered to send the guys on the chain gang to summer camp, they said, forget it, warden. It's too hard to schnick-schnack with a ball on. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> now, <laughs> well, we're just I'm substituting okay. schnick-schnack for blank, you see. Okay. It's too hard to <laughs> schnick-schnack with a ball on. That's it. Now, Summer did you hear? Camp, yeah, right? Some, when the warden offered to send the guys on the chain gang, yeah. the prisoners, you see, to summer camp, they said, forget it, warden, it's too hard to schnick snack with a ball on. Okay. Charles okay. has picked up his pen. He he's said, moving he's it moving toward his... his now, I am, is this a surprise, the schnick snack? <laughs> <laughs> I got all giddy. I thought I should go up and change. <laughs> you should go up and change anyway. So we yeah, know it's, it's, we're just Prisoners doing, instead of blank, we're saying schnick snack, write something, and don't give me a hard time because mm -hmm. I'll tug your hair. Do you know that a fan... No, your schnick snack won't. <laughs> What? You know that a fan sent me this. Fanny that, sent you the, Did you knit no, that? A fan. Oh, a fan. Isn't that... Not only is it... Hand-knitted. It's pretty. It's beautiful. It's a marvelous color. It makes it on TikTok. Makes it on TikTok. All right, here we go, Terry Thompson. When the warden offered to send the guys in the chain gang to summer camp, they said, forget it, warden. It's too hard to schnick snack with a ball on. All I can think of for summer camps is that they play a lot of sports. Yeah. Uh, I guess the one most difficult with a ball and chain would be swimming. That's all that came to mind, swimming. Too hard to swim with a ball on. Okay. <laughs> he said, swim, too hard to swim. Too what do you say? I went to summer camp. Did a lot of dancing. Too hard, too hard to dance with a ball on. Okay. Right. With a ball but, uh, and chain on. 
<laughs> All right, Brent. I'm back. <laughs> they, they, Bobby said he was smart. Uh, Charles, the yeah. prisoner, yeah. said he was smart. <laughs> and so that makes me smart. I also said swim. 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 It's too long to swim with a ball out. Charles? I said swim. Okay, that's good for you. Hi, baby. What do you say? Well, I say that you could do a lot of things at summer camp. You sure can. <laughs> A lot of things in the tale a lot, so I just thought you, that you would generally just say play. Too hard to play. Play swimming? Okay. Sarah. All right. Do Sarah. something about yourself. <laughs> well, well, no, I'll ask you the question once more, if you please. When the warden offered to send the guys in the chain gang to summer camp, they said, forget it, warden. It's too hard to schnick-snack with a ball on. That was the wrong question. <laughs> The only question I got. Sorry, you'll never learn your math. I'm doing the best I can. It's not good enough, Schweinhund. Schwim! Schwim! Thank you. Schön. Bitte. Schön. Bitte. What do you say? Better, bitter. You have relatives at Gutzentaden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is too hard to go swimming. Go swimming! Swimming! Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Ein, a vier, eins, zwei, drei. If I say the little All right. Now, if we're going to go to round two here. What do you say there? B. B. A, B, C. When oh. Fred plays Frisbee, it makes a terrible mess. Because instead of, instead of using a Frisbee, Fred flings a schnick-schnack. <laughs> I don't, right. You don't play and you don't play. Charles, what's her name? And Richard. Go what ahead. is it again? When Fred plays Frisbee, it makes a terrible mess because instead of using a Frisbee, Fred flings a schnick-schnack. Okay. We have ways of making you right, Charles. I'm sure you'll find my papers are all in order. <laughs> Uh, put one of them inside there. Yeah. And everything's going to be all right. I blue pass. <laughs> Frau Hayes. Yes. You will listen to me. When Fred plays Frisbee, it makes a terrible mess because instead of using a Frisbee, Fred flings a schnick-schnack. Pizza. Pizza. Yeah. Frau Hayes said he flings a pizza. What do you say? The schnick schnack was on pizza. <laughs> Frau Kennedy, haben Sie eine kleine pizza for Frau Hayes? With everything on it. With everything on it. <laughs> haben Sie eine kleine pizza? I have reason to believe you are not really Deutsch. <laughs> what am I? Das ist Fräulein. Oh, Fräulein. Das ist Fräulein, jawohl. Jawohl. <laughs> das ist Pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you got to match two of our celebrities to achieve a tie after we come back from this commercial massage. We were just listening to the Franz Liszt second Hungarian Rhapsody. <laughs> And now we've got to get back to reality and play Match Game 75. Now, Terry Thompson, are you ready? All set. And you've got to match two celebrities here, Bobby and Sarah, to stay in the game and achieve a time. Tarzan say, when Tarzan... Oh! Beat chest, get plenty sore. So from now on, me not pound my chest, me pound schnick snack. <laughs> you sure they do this in Germany? <laughs> All right, everybody ready over here? Terry Thompson, are you ready? Tarzan say, when Tarzan... Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Smog is terrible in the jungle. 
When Tarzan uh, uh, do all that, the chest get plenty sore. So from now on, me not pound my chest, me pound schnick schnack. I'll go for head. Me pound head. 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 Now, you're first up, Bobby. Wait till the duck comes down and gives us Oh, all right. Zan's taking it away to get $100. He said he pounds his head? Pounds his head. Got to match both celebrities to stay in the game. I thought you were going to say Jane. Me pound Jane. What'd you say? Jane. Find out, man. So, I'll get back to you. Right now, Terry, we've got to say goodbye to you. Did you say, Jane, sweetie? Uh, you've got five thousand six hundred dollars, and that's going to be fun. Thank Spending you. That, right? Yes. So long, Terry Thompson. Goodbye. Goodbye, Terry. Well, here you are. Well, Lynn, you got a hundred dollars, but more important than that, you've got a chance to earn a lot of money here. Over five thousand mm. dollars in the uh, big money super match here. You ready? Okay, we polled a recent studio audience and we got their best response to this. David Blank. David Schnickschnack, I beg your pardon. In case you just tuned in, this is the way they do the program in Germany. They have no word for blank, so they say Schnickschnack. So we thought we'd do that today just for the heck of it. So remember, if you match uh, the answer that audience gave most often, you get $500. If you match the middle one, you get $250, and the bottom one gets you $100. Whom do you call on here for a little help? Richard. Hopalong's son, David Cassidy. David oh. Cassidy, okay. Quickly they forget. Yes. Right. He sold four records last year. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> two to Jack and two to Shirley. Uh, how about Bobby? How about Bobby? Okay, I got the, How about David and Goliath? David and Goliath. Right. Okay. What about him? And Brett. Brett? But what about my favorite in the whole world? Well, tell us, Auntie Brett. He's going back to the home as soon as the show's over. Uh, David Jansen. David Jansen. Okay. Anything that turns you on, Brett. Uh, David Jansen, David and Goliath, and David Cassidy. Now, Lynn, you may choose one of those, or if you think you've got a better idea that you want to give us, you may do that. The one that came to mind was David and Goliath. David and Goliath was the first thing she thought of, so that's the one she's going to go for. She hopes it's under the $500 response, but we're going to begin at the bottom as usual. And reveal, sir, if you would, please, the $100 response. David Bowie? Bowie. Bowie. David Bowie. He's oh, the a rock, rock singer. singer, honey. He sings rocks. Who is Bowie? He, David Bowie. A... He's a, the guy who invented the Bowie knife? That's <laughs> sort of, yeah. That's Jim Bowie. Oh, I knew there was a Bowie in there somewhere then. All right, we're looking for David and Goliath. Let's see the $250 response. Lovman! Oh, David Frost. <laughs> Whatever happened to him? <laughs> He's in a cold day. <laughs> Here we go, looking for David and Goliath with a $500 response. Yeah. David and Goliath, congratulations. <laughs> Who gave you that one? Bobby Van did. Good work, Bobby. Aren't you clever to pick that one? I think well, in all fairness, we should call David Jansen and David Cassidy and tell them they're all washed up. <laughs> <laughs> No, but you know, she did She did what we advise everybody to do when you play this game. Always trust your first instinct. It right. doesn't work 100% of the time, but about 98% of the time it does. And she told me, the first thing that came to my mind was David and Goliath, she said it. All right, now you got $600 all together. You're going to play for $5,000 right now. To collect, you've got to match one of them head-to-head -head exactly. Which one will it be? Richard. Okay, you uh, course, face I me if you would, David please. David Cassidy, I can understand her choosing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it is. It's worth $5,000. Type schnick-schnack. <laughs> T-Y-P-E. Type schnick-schnack. Type schnick-schnack. Type schnick-schnack. Type blank. Does that do anything for you? Type blank. Okay, he's finished. Now, Lynn, we ask you to give us a response which you think will match his. I'll give you to both ways. Type schnick-schnack 
or type blank. That's T-Y-P-E. Typewriter. Typewriter. The audience is with you. They think you picked a winner. Well, we all hope you picked a winner. She says typewriter will match you for $5,000. What do you say? That's one word. And oh. I thought you were an act- you're studying to be an actress. What? I thought of that. Typecast. Yeah. And I wrote writer. Ah! $5,600. And we've got this message for you. Good match, Grand. I'll well, give you a rage. Okay, here we go. Are you ready to meet Missy Gallant? Missy. How are you? You know Lynn Hayes? She's very happy because she doesn't want a bundle of money here. She's got $5,600, and while she's getting it together and taking a deep breath here, too, we'll find out about you, Missy Gallant. Is that the way you say your name? Yes. Where are you from? Newport Beach. Yep. And I train apartment managers and real estate agents for a development company in Irvine. And that's all. I didn't hear what she said. I see she's a developer of some kind. What? She has a lot of schnicks. I train apartment managers oh. and real estate agents for a development company in Irvine. I see. Well, that sounds like an interesting job. You meet a lot of interesting people, do you? Mm-hmm. Okay, Newport Beach is a very pretty part of California, isn't it? It's, it's a big sailing country, isn't it? Big. Yeah, and do you tennis. sail? All right, where are we going? A little weekend <laughs> sail over the weekend, just the two of us. All right, Missy? No, I'm only kidding. Whoops, there. I almost blew a fuse. You want A or do you want B? B, please. B it is. All right. Are you ready? Why didn't you ask her if she was involved or married or... <laughs> she didn't want to tell me. I figured if well, she wanted to tell us... Well, you didn't ask her. Well, no, I said, tell us the story of your life. And she I told me as much as she wants... I don't want to hear all that rubbish about apartment she, managers. She told me as are much as she wants Are you married or are you single? I'm single. Don't tell him! <laughs> she's not telling you, Yo-Yo. She's telling me. <laughs> I shall work very hard for you, Missy. <laughs> Lieutenant Colombo's wife said... My husband, Colombo, is so jealous. How jealous, How jealous is he, dear? You're, uh, out you? <laughs> <laughs> he pooping out on us, aren't you? She says, when I come home late, he checks my schnick-schnack for fingerprints. <laughs> That's how jealous he is. <laughs> oh, you woke up finally, eh? Lieutenant, did you hear that, Missy? Lieutenant Colombo's wife said, My husband Colombo is so jealous when I come home late, he checks my schnick-schnack for fingerprints. <coughs> no offense. All right. <laughs> okay, Charles is ready, so we'll come over here to Missy and ask her for her response. Lieutenant Colombo's wife said... My husband, Colombo, is so jealous. When I come home late, he checks my schnick-schnack for fingerprints. Body. Body. <laughs> oh, darling, you're home late, I see. Hmm. Oh, I'm just checking you there. Oh, there's one right there. Who you been out with? <laughs> Never. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't hurt you. Her little there, body's boy. very hard to find. That's right. <laughs> when I come home late, he checks my schnick-schnack for fingerprints. He checks my panties for fingerprints. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've never heard a response like that. What does that mean? Is that good or bad? <laughs> Brett, what do you say? Uh, I said he checks my girdle. My girdle. <laughs> How about you, sir? Just those little flimsy, the undies. The undies? I never expected that. I thought you had a terrific answer, Missy. What do you say? I said her, her nighty, her nightgown. Her nightgown. Oh, well, you got a bunch of weirdos up on this stage. Worse than you down there. All right, you, Richard. Another weird answer? Are you kidding? You think I'm going to blow a chance with Missy? Oh. You think you match her? I better bought it. (laughs) 
Lieutenant Colombo's wife said my husband Colombo's so jealous when I come home, lady checks my schnick snack for fingerprints. Oh. What do you say to that? Das ist ein Body. Ein Body. Some Body. Okay, two for you, and your first round question is yet to come, but right now this is coming your way, so pay attention. We just have time to say goodbye, ladies. Say goodbye, ladies. Goodbye, ladies. Goodbye, ladies. <laughs> you're terrific, Missy. And you're going to be terrific next time we get together. You, you were just dandy. Yeah, we felt yeah. Yeah. I'm giving this up. I'm going to become an apartment manager person. <laughs> and I, I am going to be looking for fingerprints. Ooh. Oh, I guess not. My wife is just in the next room. She's going to be here any second now. I'm only kidding, Helen. I wouldn't touch her with a... Listen, be sure to tune in for Tattletales because my wife is so funny. How funny, how funny is she? I'll tell you how funny she is if you'll tune in. Gene Raven here, Match Game 75. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 75. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production. Be sure to stay tuned for Helen Rayburn and Tattletales next over most of the CBS stations.